chapter 16. Joshua chapter 16 verse 1. The allotment for Joseph began all the Jordan of Jericho, east of the waters of Jericho, and went up from the to the desert into the hill country of Bethel. Do you know which city is the most lowest city in the world? Jericho, which is uh, minus 400 uh, meters uh, below the sea level. Can you imagine? Most uh, lowest city in the world is uh, Jericho. <coughs> Jericho connect together to Dead Sea. Do you understand? You know, if you go to Israel, you can go to Jericho first, or Dead Sea first. Jericho, Dead Sea connect to each other. <coughs> <coughs> in Jericho, Jericho is uh, <coughs> around uh, around 40 minutes journey from Jerusalem, and uh, Jericho is a very low place. And then anybody who are who are you know, lost a job, who are difficult life, they go to Jericho. And Jericho is a very low place, minus 400 meters under the lower than sea level. And um, Jericho is a um, difficult city. Even Jericho now belongs to the Arabs, Palestine. Jericho. Not fertile, yeah? Not fertile? What? Jericho, not fertile? I don't know. It's a full of yeah. It's a but uh, there's a full of fruit, full of water. But uh, any 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 city yeah any city Palestine take control is uh, is not very good. <coughs> Actually, in Israel, if we go to the West Bank, in West Bank uh, belong to the Palestine. But uh, if you go to West Bank, a settlement for Jewish people. Full of green grass, green, green grass. It look like uh, America or UK. Mm. Beautiful, but outside of a settlement, desert. Mm. And um, <coughs> BBC made a documentary about the Jewish people, how they make the Jewish settlement. You know, most of the Jewish settlement uh, is uh, on the mountain. They know how to. They know how to build the settlement. You know what they do? Jewish people, they hiring the Palestine. They pay for the labor in the night time. From 7, 8 o'clock in the evening, do you know what they do? All night using the bulldozer to remove the, you know, like the, do you know what's the name of tribes uh, who lives uh, on the field in Israel? These people, I forget, they are like the refugees. Uh, yeah? Is it no, yeah, no, no, just, uh, I just forget. These people put uh, some kind of tent and they live in there. But they, they remove it by a bulldozer. Mm -hmm. And then, you know who made the pole or the fan? Palestines. Mm -hmm. And the next day morning, there's a war. <laughs> But the no temporary is very strong, and uh, they put the, the the pole and very strong. And BBC made a documentary. They dinner when BBC BBC is the uh, you know Britain's uh, famous uh, you know uh, the television station. So against Israel, do you know that? Do you know they have anti anti Semitism. You know, whenever they make some kind of uh, documentary, anything, then people they angry to against uh, Israel. They made it purposely. No, Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera is uh, Al Jazeera. Uh, Al Jazeera does uh, from the uh, which country? Is, is not Israel? No, no, Arab. No, Iran. What? Where? Qatar, Qatar, Qatar. They have a lot of money actually. They use the. But they are, they are supporting for Muslims. Oh, and then... Yeah, yeah. You must see CNN. Any, any big uh, media channel actually and against uh, Israel 
unfortunately. <laughs> Do you know that? You didn't yeah, know that? Because the UN passes the law <coughs> and the Israelis don't, don't um, obey. Yeah. Do you know, uh, you, you uh, need to understand uh, that um, according to the Bible, according to the Bible, we have to pray for Israel, bless Israel, and supporting for Israel. And then you will see the end time. How end time? The army of the world against Israel. Against Israel. You know, if can you imagine when the American embassy moved from the from the Tel, Tel Aviv to Israel? I'm sorry, Jerusalem. It's normal, isn't it? The whole Muslim country against uh, America, when Donald Trump, when Donald Trump get the power, do you know what they do? The American embassy move from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. So angry. So I don't know, Ecuador or some other country that follow America. And then many people died actually in Pakistan or some Muslim country. Why? Do you, do you understand? If a Korean embassy, eh, Korean embassy move from Birmingham to London or London to Birmingham, people quiet. <laughs> if a British embassy to move from from Lyon and move into Paris, nothing wrong. So any embassy from Washington D.C. to New York, nothing wrong. But in Israel, different. Do you understand? Why? Because of already Bible prophecy. But isn't Hollywood controlled by uh, Israelis? <coughs> About, the, do you know what the Bible say? Israel is the most uh, important uh, country in the world. Especially Jerusalem is most important. Yeah. Jerusalem is like the, the stone and got the eyes on Israel. And uh, any country in the world against Israel against uh, Jerusalem, then they are not prosper. Do you know that? Yeah? How do you know? Look at his story. Any country against Israel, hate Israel, they never prosper. Never. Why? Because what the Bible say. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. If anybody hate you, curse you, I will hate them, curse them. If anybody bless Israel, I will bless them. You know, United Kingdom used to be a blessed country. Why? Supporting for Israel, bless Israel. But uh, do you remember in 1919 or which year? And then Jewish, uh, the British government washed their hand. No, no, I don't care. And they give the land of, entered the land of Palestine, give to the U United Nations. And the United Nations, and the amazing, the miraculously, and then give the vote to Israel, Israelis. On the 14th of May, 1948, that was a miracle. UK lost the power when they did not supporting for Israel. Any country in the world they hate Israel, they are nice in chaos. North Korea against Israel. Look, North Korea is chaos. Pakistan against Israel. You know, people who come from Pakistan, yeah, when they become born again Christian, they ask the Lord, Jesus, Lord, forgive all the sins of Pakistan. Pakistan is uh, one of the worst countries in the world. Why? Because they hate Israel. Any country, any nation, any tribe, any church against Israel, they are never prosper. According to the, you know, Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. We have to love Israel, bless Israel. It's very, very important. Yeah. Look at... Um, yeah, we did uh, chapter 16, yeah? Chapter 16, and um, look at uh, verse 10. Chapter 16, verse 10. They did not uh, dislodge the Canaanites living in Gaza. To this day, Canaanites live among the people of Ephraim, but are the required to force labor. You know, <coughs> what is the problem of the, the tribe of Israel? 
because they didn't kick him out. They live together. They live together. Do you know God's order to destroy everything, but they live together among the people of Ephraim. And then, yeah, you can see the chapter 17 even, verse 4. <coughs> Joshua chapter 17, verse 4. They went to uh, Elijah, the priest, Joshua, son of Nun, the leading leaders, and said, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brothers. So Joshua gave them an inheritance along with the brothers of their father, according to the Lord's command. Manasseh's share consisted of the ten tracts of the land beside Gilead and Bashan, east of the Jordan, because the daughters of the tribe of Manasseh received an inheritance among the sons. The land of Gilead belonged to the last of the descendant of Manasseh. Who is Manasseh? Fourth son of uh, yeah, yeah, bless you. Yeah. Manasseh is a first son of uh, Joseph. Who is the second? Uh, yeah? Ephraim. Ephraim. Do you remember when Jacob, before he died, he prayed for Joseph's two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim? Do you know how he blessing? Cross the hand like this. You know, right hand, right hand, the blessing hand, he's supposed to bless the Manasseh. But he did for Ephraim, like this. And then he, of course, like this, uh, bless the his, uh, first son, is a uh, left hand. And uh, Joseph said, Father Jago, you are long. Use your right hand to bless my first son, Manasseh, and bless second son, Ephraim, by left hand. And what your, your Jacob say there? I know. I know. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is a very interesting. Who is the first son of, uh, of, uh, of Isaac? Esau. Yeah? Esau. Esau. Who is a, uh, he's a twin actually, two. But um, who is the second son? Jacob. How Jacob come out? He holding the leg of, uh, leg of uh, Esau. It's very strange. But actually, before, before Rebecca conceived the twin, God only the prophecy. Your first son will serve for a uh, second son, who is uh, uh, Jacob. And then God, you know, everything is uh, fulfilled according to the prophecy. You know, Manasseh is the first son of Joseph. He didn't receive the greater blessing than Ephraim. Ephraim received a more blessing according to the prophecy, according to the Jacob. Yeah. Look at the verse 12. Yeah. I think don't touch the uh, this, uh, two brothers. Uh, move on. At the Munasseh, look at the verse 12. Joshua chapter 17, verse 12. <coughs> Brother Christo, can you read it once again? Do you know, Manasseh, they cannot control, they control. Why? Because the Canaanites, they don't want to move out from the town. They need to kick you out. But Manasseh, they make excuse. Look, however, the, when the Israelites grew stronger, they subjected the Canaanites to force to labor, but did not drive them out completely. This is the main problem. When they become stronger, they need to do it, but they don't do it. They don't obey. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Do you understand? This is the main problem. God, do you know, when God bless you, yeah? When God bless you, 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 you need to using the blessing that, uh, for the glory of the law. <coughs> Can I say again? When God give you something, using it for the glory of God. If you don't use it, watch about God remove it. God only give them power and then they anointing. They grow stronger. But they, then, they don't use their power to remove the enemies. Mm -hmm. 
This main problem. That is why they pay the price. They pay the price. You stay here. How long? Yeah? Five months? Yeah. I think more than five months, I think. <laughs> Six months, I think. 182 days. Really? More than six months, eh? No, no, six months, 182 days, because uh, some, some months is 31, some months... 30, okay. Yeah. Do you understand? God give you power, brother. Use your power for Jesus, amen? Use your ability for Jesus, amen? If you don't use it, yeah, you'll be trouble. God gave me, you know, ability to serving Jesus. Yeah? Some people, they don't use the, their power. Their ability for Jesus. They, they are very strong. They grow stronger. But God said to them, remove this canonize. But they did not drive them out completely. This is the main problem. Yeah? Joshua chapter 17. Yeah? Verses 13. People, they don't obey the uh, main problem of the Christian. When God gave you power and authority, please use it. Yeah, you see it. Verse 14. The people of Joseph say to Joshua, Why have you given us only one allotment and one portion for our inheritance? Why? Sorry, we are numerous people. The Lord has blessed us abundantly. Do you know what they say? We are so blessed. But why you give me only one allotment? They speak like this. They have some complaint heart, blame heart. Look, if you are so numerous, Joshua answered, and if the hill country of Ephraim is too small for you, go up and the forest, clear, clear land for yourself. There in the land of uh, Pedrite and uh, uh, Lepalite. Go to the hill. Clear land, yours. But people, they are lazy. They don't want to do it. Do you understand? When God gives you something, you know, now it's totally different. You know, it's all right. They received the manna in the desert. Did they work very hard in the desert? What did they do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Just in the desert, is. said, with all of the unemployed. <laughs> but now they arrive in the promised land, they need to work. You know what Joshua say? Go to the hill to clear the land. If you go to the hill to clear the land, it's very hard. Do, do you have experience in Philippines? Mm -hmm. The mountain and they make the make it very nicely, yeah? And they plant it. Yes. You did, eh? I worked in You see, uh, she's a very hard working woman. You, you did. Eh? <laughs> People, they complain, give me good land. You bless the tribe of Judah. But how about us? Give us good land. That kind of attitude. What Joshua say? Go to the hillside, forest, and clear land for yourself. Do you understand? People, they're not happy what Joshua said. You know, when I correct you, leave it you, some of you, you're not happy with him. Do you still happy with me? Thank you very much. <laughs> You know, the people, they don't happy. They're angry. They've gone away. Do you understand? Know Another guy is a Spanish guy. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, he left. And he gave the key to some other guy. And <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. Never appreciate, never say to thank you very much. Who's that man? The Spanish guy. Yesterday, another lady called me. Pastor Paul, how are you? She she is very kind. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please don't, don't mention, mention it. Me. <laughs> 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 well, unfortunately, you know, when she lost the job and she couldn't find the, the house, she looking for man to stay. It's no good. It's like a prostitute. Never do it. Never do it, please. It's very bad. Too late. The people of Joseph replied, look at the verse 16. 
The hill country is not enough for us. Continue to make excuses. All the Canadians who live in the plain have an iron chariot. And both those who are path, shan, and the <laughs> settlement and those in the valley of uh, Gerald. Do you know they blame the what? <coughs> There's a very strong people in Canaan, in the Canaan. They have what? <coughs> Iron Cheddar. They are so strong. We cannot attack them. They always make excuse. Can you do something? If you say, yes, Jesus, and do it. Can you say, Amen. If you say yes to the law, you will be blessed. If you continually, I'm sorry, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you, God cannot come to you. God cannot use you. God looking for somebody who are yes to Jesus. Amen to Jesus. Look at the verse 17. Joshua said to the house of uh, Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, two tribes. Eh? Joseph has two children. Manasseh is the older son, and, um, and Ephraim is a second son. You are numerous and very powerful. Joshua, he telling the truth. You are so powerful, numerous. You will have not only one allotment, but the forested hill country as well. When you see the forest hill country, you know how do you feel? You must give thanks, eh? Well, no, 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 I don't want, I don't want, this is no pain for me, give me good land. That kind of attitude. And do you know what Josh, Joshua say? Go to the forest here country as well, also clear, the, clear it. And it, the forest uh, limit will be yours. To the Canaanites have an iron chariot, and to the, they are strong, you can drive them out. You can kick them out. You can drive them out. Can you say amen? amen? You need to kick out. You have to do it. Do you know that if you look at the Bible, yeah, if you look at the Bible, many times God himself destroyed the, the towns and cities, the country, and God himself killed the people. Also many, many times also, God used the people. You have to do it. You have to do it. Do you remember yesterday we saw the, that guy, Akan? Akan is hiding the 200 uh, sacred of silver and then hiding under this tent. <coughs> Did God kill him or who killed him? Huh? People of Israel. People of Israel. Did mm -hmm. God spoke to Joshua? Find out who is the one. They cost a lot and they find the Akan. And then Joshua is Joshua like the detective. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? He tell you everything. And then Joshua announced it. Bring the Akan, his wife and children, brothers, sisters, Captain. whole, even cattle, animals, donkeys, kill and burn. Can you imagine? You have to understand that sometimes, two times, God himself would destroy. But sometimes, two times, God used the people of God. You need to do it. You need to do it. If God, if God deal with you, my dear brother, yeah, it's very powerful. But God, God encouraged me to to supporting for you, to encourage you, to to lift up you, to exalt you, to correct you, to rebuke you, yeah, to train you, to teach you. This is the order from Joshua. You need to, you need to tell, you need to tell them. Two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, they need to do it. They continually so selfish. Give me this land again. No, no. You need to do it. Chapter 18, verse 3. Joshua chapter 18, verse 3. The so Joshua said, It's a light. How long will you wait before you begin to take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your father, has given you? People, they don't want to work. They don't want to fight. Do you understand? Because 40 years, uh, they used to do, live in the wilderness. They don't do nothing. Too lazy. Yeah. If you're never working, and then you start working, it's uh, very, very hard. Do you understand? I know you're working very hard, man. 
yeah, and for you easy to work. But if you, you know, unemployed for a long, long time, and you start to work, you don't two, want to work. Two weeks to get <coughs> Do you know, one guy, I remember one guy, he used to come to our church, and you know him. He get the, uh, he lives in near the, our church in Brixton. He get the uh, 2,500 pounds per month I from remember. government. You remember? <laughs> she, <laughs> she knows it. Then what happened? Because he has a, he get the disabled in a benefit. Very expensive. Another month, 2,500 pounds per month. And then what if I raise his hand in my hand and pray for him? God deliver, heal him completely. God heal me completely. Do you know what I encourage? Now you are well, you need to get a job. <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> he gets a job actually. He's a working, he's a computer. He's a very good computer job. Do you know when you get a job? Guess what happened? He working very hard from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eight hours working. His income is 1,500 pounds. When he was uh, when he was unemployed, he relaxed in his house. Whenever he wake up, he wake up. He he be hungry, he eat. He always uh, relax in his home. But he get 2,500 pounds. But he working very hard. Do you know how much he get? He working very hard from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. He get uh, 1,500 pounds. He working for three months. He came to me, Pastor Paul. I working very hard now, 1,500 pounds. <laughs> I didn't work. I get the 2,500 pounds. Which do you want if you advise for me? <laughs> he decided to go back in it. <laughs> <laughs> she's loving Why? Because she knows him very well. Do you know, she's a witness. You know, I told him, brother, God deliver you from mental problem. Now you are healed. Good to work. Good to work. But you say, Pastor Paul, I'm working very hard, but I didn't get the 2,500 pounds or 3,000 pounds. Even I, I lost the 1,000 pounds. <laughs> working very hard, 1,000 pounds lost. Please, Pastor Paul, I need to stop to work. I need to claim again. I said, don't do it. Don't do it. Guess what happened? He working around the six month. He didn't listen to me. He say, do you know, this government made a problem. He, the government gave him 2,500 pounds when he's not working. When he's working, he get 1,500 pounds. Finally, six months later, he go back to his old life again. And he stopped to come to church. Can you imagine? You know, God is my witness. You are my witness. You know him better. Yes. God heal him. Do you understand? How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Which do you want? You are healed, and then you want to get more money. And you claim with a mental mental disability. <laughs> Which you do you want? Healthy. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much. You're, you're very good. I'm surprised he was giving that a lot of money for, yeah. for that. <coughs> he knows. Even another guy, another guy, your friend, he, he, he using the job center, the plus that guy, and they claimed all this, make a lot of money. That guy, he, he is a, you know, lying. He's not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. He gets a lot of money from the government. Do you know that in Kingston Borough, 10% of Koreans live in the Kingston Borough? The population of Kingston Borough is one of the richest borough in, in UK. Population of Koreans in the borough, 10%. But the uh, dinner council people, chancellor, they say Koreans, they don't claim for benefit in Kingston area. And they have the plenty of money. Do you know who are the ones to claim? Muslims. <laughs> Muslims that can come there to claim a lot of money. They get money already, <coughs> but they yeah. claim. Claim. They know how to claim. You know. We don't know how to claim. <laughs> uh, Do you know? Yeah? You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But what I'm saying, do you know why we want to get the Jesus community? We don't want to claim anything from the government. We don't want to rely on the government. Mm -hmm. 
we can get our vegetable, we can get our everything, our power, electric power, our water, everything. Can you say amen? amen. How many are happy to move into Jesus' community? Yeah? Uh, you still have your so subway? Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? Downstairs. Okay. He brought it from the corner. Long uh, sub shovel. Shovel. Normally small side, but that area he two over two meters. Eh? Yeah, yeah. It's, I never seen in in UK, but he brought it. But we prepare for you prepare for Jesus community, but these people, yeah, these people so lazy. It's unfair for the taxpayers, isn't it? Yeah. The people who are working give that money to the government. Yeah. 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 That is why, do you know, uh, Brexit, you can come out from European Union. Why? One of the main legion, one of the main legion, many Muslim refugees come to UK and to claim for benefit. Even now. Even now, yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is more harder than before. Yeah. They escape to the water. Yeah, that's so. Yeah, you know, one of one of I many years ago, I think fifteen years ago, I saw the newspaper. One guy, one guy, he has got six or seven children, Muslim family, live in the Westminster borough in central London. He received over twenty thousand pounds per month, per month. For house, house price is very expensive in central London. For six, eight, including his wife and children, over eight, nine, four, five bedroom, big house. There's a minimum seven or eight, or even ten thousand pound of the price. Very expensive in central London. And plus a benefit. Can you imagine? I saw the newspaper. Do you know per month you receive the twenty thousand pound is a, is a, your, you must have a good job. Twenty thousand pound per month. On the newspaper. Yeah, it's in the newspaper. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Over twenty thousand pounds. You saw that. On oh, I was surprised. That is a normal, hard working, you know, genuine British people angry. Muslim family come to stay in central London, they get the over twenty thousand pounds per month yeah. for the housing benefit, for benefit, all these expenses. They don't do nothing. Do you know that? Muslims, uh, seventy percent of the population of Muslims in UK, they are unemployed. What does it mean? It's more than seventy percent. More than seventy percent. When you go like if you're low, like if you're low class, like the Muslim people, you know that. <coughs> rich Muslim people living like uh, nice beach, high school. Yeah, camp. they claim the benefit. That is why so one, of our, one of one of the main region, um, you know, why UK. British people, they voting for Brexit, yeah, come out because of the you know they don't want to spend the money for Muslims. This is one of the main major. But anyway, this is a fact. Yes. I, I don't have any problem with the Muslims. I love Muslims. Don't misunderstand. I don't have any phobia of Muslims. Or I love the Muslims. I pray for Muslims. How love? How, how many of you love Muslims? We love the Muslims. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Muslims, but I hate the spirit of Islam. I hate. It's a, it's a, it's antichrist spirit. Spirit of Islam is antichrist spirit. And look, <coughs> you know, verse five. You are to divide the land into seven parts. Uh, Judah, uh, in is the remain is uh, his uh, territory on the south and the house of uh, Joseph. Uh, in the territory uh, of north, and uh, seven tribes they didn't get the uh, land, and then um, they don't want actually. Then, then after you have uh, written the uh, descriptions, and uh, seven part of the land they bring them here to me, I will cast the lot for you in the presence of the Lord our God. Do you not cast the lot for people in the presence of God. Actually, God is the one to work it. Properly. Do you remember when, when, um, when Jonah disobeyed God? Mm -hmm. Jonah, instead of he go to Nineveh, he go to Tarsus. Tarsus is Spain. 
very nice weather. But Nunavay is a which is the Iraq, Iraq, not. They don't want to. He want, doesn't want to go. But you know what? But he was uh, sleeping inside the uh, ship. When you were sleeping inside ship, and the God bring the storm, the wind, the sh ship shake. You know, and uh, everybody claiming. Oh, they called all their God, <laughs> and they catch a lot. They find who? Jonah is the one. Actually, Jonah he explained how you survive. He say, you need to pick me and throw into the water. You'll be okay. Very, very strange man. He say, because of me, you are trouble. Actually, United Kingdom trouble, why? Because of whom? Because of you and me. Because of you. Don't tell me, because of a Muslim? Because of a government? No, no. Because of a born again Christian. Do you understand what I'm saying, brother? Why you not? <laughs> you are so serious. You know, because of uh, born again Christian not doing properly, this nation damage. Do you know that? Because of uh, born again Christian not working properly. Yeah. And then look at uh, chapter 12, chapter 12, verse 7. Uh, chapter 18, verse 7. Sorry. Sorry, forgive me. Joshua chapter 18, verse 7. The Levites, you know, brother. Yeah. The Levites, however, do not get a portion among you because uh, priestly serves, uh, service of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad and, and Lubin and the half tribe of Manasseh had already received their inheritance on the east side of Jordan. Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave it to them. You know, God continually concerned about the Levites, but they don't have any portion. They don't have any inheritance. Why? Because of God Himself with their inheritance. Unfortunately, most of people they want to get uh, some practical things, some money, the land and house. But if they don't see God, uh, I'm look like. The <laughs> I'm a poor man and blah blah like that. Yeah. Uh, how many of you are rich in Christ Jesus? Amen. I'm a rich in Christ Jesus. Do you understand? This is very important. God speak about the Levites. You have everything because you have God. Yeah. And then <coughs> the Benjamin tribe they they get the land in the continuously verse eleven to uh, twenty seven. And then um, you can look at the verse 28, then Jela and Halapa, the Jubatai city, it is uh, Jerusalem, and Gebia, and they carried the 14 towns, their village. This was the inheritance of Benjamin for its clan. They still receive it. Even two, 12 towns, if you look at the verse 24, 12 towns for Benjamin tribes, and then another. Uh, 14 towns and Benjamin tribes, all these things. But difference is now, Jewish people, they used to just to get the manna from God. 40 years, they don't, you know, their the cloth is okay. If you look at the Deuteronomy chapter 8, <coughs> Deuteronomy chapter 8, Look at the uh, verse 4. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 4. Your cloth did not wear out, and your feet did not swell during the, these 40 years. Can you imagine? 40 years, uh, they need a cloth, they need a shoes. But God look after them for 40 years. Yeah? Can you use the one cloth for 40 years? <laughs> no, even four months is <laughs> you fed up. For 40 years, your cloth and your shoes. And know then in your heart that uh, as a man uh, disciplines his son, so the Lord your God disciplines you. Observe the commandment, uh, command of the Lord your God, and walking in His way, and then and then living in Him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into the good land, which is a promised land, <coughs> land with a stream and a 
pools of water with a spring flowing in the valleys and hills. A land, you know, verse 8. If you look at the Deuteronomy 8.8, 8, how many kind of uh, food? Seven. <coughs> Seven. <coughs> this is a Bible quiz always. What is in the, in the land of Israel, land of Canaan? They say, wheat, barley, vines, fig trees, pome pomegranate, olive, and honey. Do you understand? Some people, God say there's a milk and honey, but there's no milk. <laughs> The you understand? Honey is in there, but you can see the uh, some fruit and the, the seven, seven and um, fruit, seven beautiful things in, in land of um, uh, Israel. Yeah. And then, yeah, God speak. Do you know what happened? Verse ten and eleven. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta finish. Verse 10 and 11. When you have eaten and satisfied, praise the Lord your God for good land He has given you. Be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God, failing to observe in His command and His law, His decrees, and I am giving you this day. When you have everything, what happened? Be careful. Be careful. You disobey God. When you have everything, what is going to happen? You committed the sins. When you're satisfied, I'm okay, I'm okay. It's not okay. When David committed the sins, when, when? He's the most rich, most powerful. When you get the power, when you become a king, he doesn't need to go to a better field anymore. Because he was king of Israel. He has got the money, he has got the power, he has got the fame, he has got the wealth, everything, everything. And then he committed the sins. When David was in the field, did David come into the sins when you were shepherd of the boy? No, lions come, bears come. Did David come into the sins when you learn away from King Saul for 13 years? No. But when you become a king of Israel, he has got everything. Come into the sins. Do you understand? I speak to you. Also, I speak to myself. Yeah? When you have the everything, you have the power, wealth, Everything. Be careful. If you thought you stand, stand, stand up. Be careful. Do not fall. Can you say Amen? amen. amen. Humble yourself, my dear brothers, sisters. People they commit to the sins when they have everything, when they have, when they satisfied. Let us humble ourselves. Fix our eyes on Jesus. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Help us to fix our eyes on Jesus all the times. Oh God, why we live in this world, this corruption generation, corruption world, we need to wake up for Jesus. Lord, help us, deliver us, protect us from all the dangers and darkness and temptation of the evil one. Redeem us by the blood of Lord Jesus. Fill us with your power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give the glory to the Lord Jesus. Thank you.